Good evening from a sunny day in Madrid. As all you know, I'm a lover of the technical and research work performed in the Technical School of Engineering in Zurich. In order to honor the work of this uh, uh, expertise, uh, we are going to develop uh, an exercise of diagram uh, bending moment curvature for a typical rectangular section. This exercise is, uh, you can find it in the test called Baustatic, written by the famous professor uh, Peter Martin. In order to achieve or to complete a uh, uh, bending moment curvature diagram, we have to assume that we are going to study a section, section called EE, in which uh, it is subjected only to pure bending moment. That means that we don't have axial forces or equal to zero, or the uh, shear forces is also equal uh, to zero. Regarding the material that is, uh, the section is made of, we are going to assume an uh, elast perfectly elastic plastic diagram uh, in terms of stress and deformation. In this uh, branch, which is inclined, represents the elastic uh, behavior of the material. And from that point, that is the deformation J point, we are going to have an horizontal branch that represents the plastic behavior of the material. First thing we have to do in order to create the bending moment curvature diagram is to get the value for the jail moment of the bending moment. We assume that we are going to apply an MY bending moment uh, over the rectangular section. This bending moment creates a plane of deformations in which this fiber is going to be under compression and this fiber is going to get the maximum tensile uh, uh, deformation or strain, okay? According to elastic uh, range, uh, we are going to get the stress that are going to be proportional to strains of deformation, uh, and then we are going to get the maximum jail uh, stress in compression and the maximum jail intention in the upper fiber. Jail bending moment uh, will be deducted uh, in accordance with uh, Navier's law, okay? According to Navier's law, stresses uh, that are perpendicular to our transversal section shall be equal to uh, bending moment, SMY, divided by resistant modulus elastic. Modul elastic is the same as second moment of inertia divided by Y max. Y max, as you can see, is the distance between the uh, elastic neutral fiber to uh, the top of the, of the rectangular section. Let's develop the equation. For rectangular section, second moment of inertia follows the same equation. And in max is the half of the height of the section. So we got H divided by 2. If we display or work it out in the equation, we get that the resistant elastic modulus is the same as B H square of 2 divided by 6. So elastic bending moment for this rectangular section, it is uh, Ly equal to B H square divided by 6 multiplied by the J uh, limit for the stress of the material Fy. Once we get the value for the jail bending moment, uh, we have to estimate which are the curvature associated to uh, the former uh, bending moment. In order to remind what is the, the curvature, okay, is the angle or the slope between the strain plane deformation uh, regarding the transversal section to the uh, global axis of the beam. In accordance with hook law, we get this expression for the elastic range, okay? So, jail curvature associated with uh, elastic uh, bending moment is equal to two times Fy divided by uh, Young's model multiplied by H of depth of the section. Second activity that we have to perform in order to get our bending uh, moment curvature diagram is to get the value for MP, plastic bending uh, moment, okay? For that reason, we are going to assume that every single fiber of the section is going to be plastified. 
is going to be uh, is going to increase uh, the strain uh, of the jail point. Okay, uh, uh, reaching to the the maximum uh, strain or deformation for each sides of the uh, plastic uh, axis. Okay. Uh, I uh, give you in advance that the curvature associated to plastic bondage is uh, infinite, okay? But if you want to get more information or you want to go deeper in this concept, I recommend you to read uh, the writings of uh, Masonet, French engineer, about the topic, okay? So, uh, as we get this strained uh, diagram, we also get this uh, stress, stress uh, diagram for the compression, part of the section and the tension uh, half of the section. So, plastic bending moment is equal to resultant of forces in compression that is the same, has to be the same because of symmetry in tension multiplied by an arm called Z, that is this uh, distance. If we now develop this equation, let's deduct the resultant compression uh, forces. That is the volume of those stresses, uh, stresses boxes. So we have a Y multiplied by the width V and multiplied by the half of the section. Okay, regarding Z, that is the uh, bending moment arm, is equal to the distance between resultants. That is the same of H, uh, the half of the height. So we have here a square and a square. So finally, plastic bending moment for a rectangular section is equal to B uh, square of H divided by 4. Sequence C, uh, the next step that we have to follow to create our bending moment curvature diagram is to establish an equation which gives us the values of bending moments between the jail bending moment and the plastic bending moment. The generation of the bending moments between the jail moment and the plastic moment, we are going to follow uh, the uh, following assumption. Okay, This represents the tension diagram Okay, of the material when we have a, a partially plastified area and then in the core we have a jail limit. I mean, uh, this area is belong also in elastic range. So, if we are going to uh, deduct that bending moment that we are going to call, is the same that uh, getting the bending plastic moment of the section, the wholly plastified section, less does this side area, portion area, that are uh, uh, working on elastic uh, range. Remember that this triangle has a, a height equal to delta multiplied uh, per h. So the equation to get the bending moment uh, between the elastic uh, point and the total uh, plastic behavior of the section follows uh, uh, the following equation. So, according to our assumption, it is uh, easier that this function of bending moment is, of course, is function of delta, that portion of the height of the rectangular uh, section, is same as the plastic moment minus, this is the resultant of forces, this one, RC, multiplied by the arm. Okay, so in order to get the, uh, this total bending moment, we just to multiply uh, per two. So if we develop the same equation, we have that the bending moment in function of delta is uh, plastic uh, bending moment less this portion of elastic bending moment. Once we have developed the equation that describes the bending moment in the range elastic plastic, we also have to deduct the associated curvature for one of each that bending moments. Curvature that is also a function of, of delta is the same as the, uh, uh, the equation shows here. J limit divided by Young's model and divided also by delta multiplied per h. So we have all the data necessary to build our uh, relationship uh, diagram um, bending moment curvature. That is the one represented shown here at the uh, blackboard. Okay, as you can see, here first we have like a linear branch that represents the elastic uh, behavior of the section. It started, of course, in um, point zero zero and ended ended in a in a in a point that is uh, created by jail uh, bending moment 
and the associated uh, curvature for the section. Starting from this point, we notice that we have a curve, okay, a curve, that is defined by every single point of curvature and bending moment that that describes for those equations. And remember that are function of delta, the portion of the uh, height of the triangle for the elastic uh, range, okay? We have also to notice that uh, uh, yeah, the curvature uh, tends to uh, infinite, okay? And this is the curvature associated with the um, uh, wholly uh, plastified uh, bending uh, moment of the section. So we have those asymptota, this uh, a straight line uh, that it should be tangent, uh, infinite for, for the cube. I couldn't uh, finish the, the video for today uh, without uh, not mention what is the shape factor, okay? The concept of shape factor. Shape factor is just the relationship between plastic bending moment divided by elastic bending moment. For a particular rectangular section, this shape factor is always equal to 1.5.